the cloud I made earlier. This I didn't measure. I like the clouds to be organic because real clouds are not measured. They're just organic. There's four balloons. These are the bigger balloons in the cloud. Mm -hmm. Then I made a slightly smaller quad right here, which is almost the same size as this one, as you can see. Then the next quad is smaller than this one on both sides. And at the end, I put a small balloon like this to form like a flower. So you have a quad of four balloons and then one balloon in the middle, like so. And these are 22 balloons to make a cloud. And I'll make one right now so you have an idea how I made it. For the bigger balloons, I'm gonna be using 17 inch white balloons and I'll start inflating. Well, like I said, I'm not measuring, I'm just inflating the balloon to make my quads. And I inflate them two at a time. And now I wanna join them together to form a quad. Just twist them together. Like so. The next balloons are gonna be smaller. So they are organic. I'm not measuring anything, just creating quads. Slightly smaller than the first one. And form your quad. And another one similar to this. And I'll show you how I tie them. Just crisscross them like that. And sometimes I go around twice and then make a single knot. Now we need two smaller quads with a balloon in the middle. So it's smaller than the previous one. And for those joining now, we made the first garland that I wanted to show you to make the rainbow. Now we're making a cloud. So this is the last uh, part of the cloud, the side of it. So I'm gonna put a small balloon coming out of this quad. Like so. And this one I wanna tie twice, just in case. It gets loose. So you can choose the, lo the longer one to be the one in the middle, but that's fine. This one is fine. So it's going to look pointy at the end of your cloud. And one more, just like that. And this is the smaller size. And one balloon in the middle. Okay, again, you wanna use a table to help you put together your cloud. I could use a 260Q balloon to tie it, but I'm gonna use the neck of the balloons instead. So just press it down like this, so there are no gaps in between them. Go around twice with one of the necks of the balloons and I would tie them twice. And this is half of the cloud. Well, now I want to make the end part. So make sure that each balloon falls in between two balloons like this. So grab a long neck and tie it together. So this is half a cloud. We'll continue adding on this side. It already looks like a cloud on that side. So let's continue on this side. 
And then the last one is going to be at the end here. So this is my second cloud. You can see it has big balloons in the middle and smaller ones on the sides. 